Hello, Tex Andrews with the Light Zone Project. Let's continue talking about the Relight Tool. And in this video, I want to talk about multiple Relight Tools versus mixing the Relight Tool and a Zone Mapper Tool. The Relight Tool is a very, very powerful tool, as I think you've seen in the previous videos. Uh, I have my adjustments that I've made in uh, this Relight Tool here. I've tweaked them a little bit since the last video. This image is now close to what I'm wanting it to look like. That's the original. I've lightened it up a little bit, but we still got plenty of drama in the sky. The foreground is mostly lightened. I like the detail and contrast I'm getting out of the fence here, uh, the grasses, and my little sign here, which is a focal point in the image. What if I wanted to add another relight tool? Well, let's try it. Okay, so that kind of ruins some things that I had developed in the first relight tool. If I turn this off, this has a nice moody and quiet kind of atmosphere, and this one is just lightened up too much. So I can start playing with this again, you know, adding the shadows back in, um, the highlights, the detail, I've already pushed the detail up as much as I really wanted to down here in the first relight tool. If I do it again, I'm not sure that the effects are going to be good. Yeah, it's already starting to get, you know, too much, even as I just do modest um, alterations. So, of course, we have different things that we can do. We can go back to the first relight tool, and we can decide, all right, well, let's apply different relight tools to different parts of the image. So let's go up here, grab ourselves a region. I'm just going to very quickly add a region in here. So the sky goes back to the way it was. I'm going to adjust my feathering and keep it fairly tight. Um, now let me hide the region so we can see better. So now, and I'll undo that. So now the this relight tool has basically affected only the bottom portion of the image. Now the sky is much, much darker. If we go back to original, so you can see it's only the foreground that has been affected. This might be a good way to leave the image. But for argument's sake, let's say, well, actually, what we want to do is apply multiple relight tools to this image. So I'll do this. We will activate a regions mode. I'm going to copy this region. And now I'll bring down a new Relight tool. I am going to paste the region. This time I'm going to invert the mask, so now the region is affecting this up here. I'm going to hide this region. We might get a little bit of a halo here because the uh, feathering area is so slight. I would adjust that later maybe, but let's play around with the sky now independently of the foreground. Going to do a lot of contrast increase in the sky like that. Let's see what the original looks like. That's taking me close to the original way it was. I can make it darker. That's an interesting, pretty stormy and threatening looking sky. So you see you can use, obviously, more than one relight tool on an image. But what about the detail slider? Well, if you're working on skies, you don't really need detail in your sky so much, and you can roll that back. The depth slider, well, that's one. You can make a decision how much it affects your sky. I might lighten up these shadows just a little bit. However, 
Because the Relight tool has so many moving parts, and because so much of it does have to do with local contrast, in a situation where you don't need local contrast, maybe you are better off using, I'm disabling that tool, maybe you're better off using a zone mapper. So we will once again paste the region, and we'll invert the mask. And let's try going to zones. I'm going to open up this box a little bit so I can see better. I'm finding my zones. I'll push them up. Find some other zones. Let's find that dark one there. Let's pull that down. Increasing contrast in my sky. Push that up. Pull that down. Pull this down. Let's take a look at the original. You can see I'm getting some more drama in that sky and I'm differentiating between the various tonalities in a fairly interesting way using a zone mapper tool. And in some ways it's now kind of easier to do that with something like a sky than it is using this relight tool, which I have disabled. Here's our original. And there it is with a relight tool for the foreground, which has lots of detail and needs the attention paid to local contrast. But here's the sky, which really needs a very nice stretch of tonalities and contrast but not so much detail. Here's how the Relight tool and a Zone Mapper tool work very nicely together in a single image, provided you differentiate between the different areas of the image. So you can use two Relight tools. Just remember that all those sliders that have to do with local contrast, you have to watch out what you're doing or you'll get too much local contrast. But in some cases, it might be better just to go back and use a zone mapper tool on top of your relight tool or vice versa to create the effects that you want in your image.